Becky standing by for us now. She's at a school in Salford for us. Um, hi, Becky. We'll hear more from the Education Secretary later on um, today, but there's um, the unions and Labour not at all happy with the amount of money that's on offer. Yeah, the unions and Labour might not be happy, but here at Moorside High School in Salford, they are very happy with what's in this white paper, particularly that point about academies. The white paper, the government, says they want all schools to be part of an academy trust that is performing well by 2030. Now, Moorside is already part of an academy trust, and I've got the executive head, Chris Davis, here with me now. Now, Chris, why is it such a good idea that all schools become academies? Um, for me, I was lucky enough to join the academy system in 2014. I've therefore seen this system mature over time and it goes far as to say the last two years at Concilium Academies Trust has been the highlight of my career so far. Uh, we've now got a wonderful central team and systems which allow me as the head teacher of this school to really focus on what is important for our children which is ultimately the quality of education day in and day out. There have been criticisms of this plan that it likes um, imagination and also funding but you think that achieving uh, the grade ambitions the government wants, uh, GCSE grades in particular yeah. as far as this school is concerned, you think that's doable? I think the whole white paper in its entirety to be honest really raises the expectations for our young people and that's what we need to do across the country. I think in terms of grades here at Moorside and also across our wider trust in all of our schools, I think that can only be a really good thing. We, we've risen to the challenges of, of COVID-19 and all of that. That comes with that. Um, so again, we'll raise the bar on expectations and really get to, to, to achieve those grades that our students deserve. Thanks, Chris. And that's the important thing. Now, there might be a disagreement about how education has improved, but following the pandemic, the urgent need for students to catch up. Everyone is aware of that and wants that to happen. OK, Becky, thanks very much indeed. Thanks a lot.